Hello everyone and welcome back to Mario Plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle Donkey Kong's Adventure. I finally learned the name. In the last episode we did the first two areas, met Rabbit Cranky and Donkey Kong, as well as got Rabbit Peach a new blaster. In between episodes I'm pretty sure I got a new secondary for... yeah. New secondary for Rabbit Peach. Most damage is Ziggy's, more honey chance, and just damage. Thought it'd be a bit better in... Did I... F I forgot to do this. So I want to grab this. It's a useful ability DK has, and one of the only thing he doesn't have that's not unlocked. More healing is good. And... Rabbit Cranky... You can take some cleansing jump. I think there's status effects coming up soon, other than that boxes. Well, good to see Rabbit Peach is fine. Mostly, she I'm pretty sure she does take damage from that punch. Now, now, don't blow your top, Rabbit Peach. Rabbit Kong will get what he has coming. Even though you're the one that pushed him off the building. Gasp! Donkey Kong, check those fascinating surface formations. By hopping on them, you'll be able to leap forward at even greater distance. There are lots of them on the battlefield. You can cross multiple gaps to increase your movement range. So... Before we go into anything, I just want to say, Donkey Kong can leap up these walls and then use these to go really far along the battlefield. He can go almost anywhere on the battlefield. Actually, he can go pretty much anywhere on the battlefield. He just can't use them twice and actually... Yeah. So first off, I want to heal. Rabbit Peach took quite the beating from that and I am glad I increased my heal chance before that. We also have Smashers and those are strong and ziggy. So I want to take... Rabbit Peach. And are there any, actually let me just look around. Is there anywhere where there's not enemies? No, but I can probably take you down. Alright, let's leave Rabbit Peach to do what she wants. And I'll take a box of vampire vampire stuff. Now, up here, like on certain tiles, some enemies can't reach you. This includes the these guys, the smashers. There's nowhere good for DK to go right now. Let's see what I can do with Rabbit Kong, I guess. Team jump is an option and it doesn't get close enough with this to hit you. DK's over here. Is he any better? No. And you can't go on those blocks either, unfortunately. Best place I have is here for you. You're out of range of my normal hit. You're also in range of that, so I'll probably go for that afterwards. It is a simple hit all effect, and. Let's see, I can send Rabbit Peach over here. Hopefully, she's out of range of those smashers. And I can deal with you. Pretty sure this does bonus damage as well. Critical hit, and that is good. Rabbit Kong has no DK has to move, not Rabbit Kong. And let's. Hmm. 
Let's send DK over here and just finish you off. There probably is a faster way to do this, but it's fine. Also, these dandelions appear to help DK move. Alternatively, I could have thrown Rabbit Kong over there or just put him to sleep. Anyway, I don't want to use that now. Drawing him in will also be a mistake. So, let's just go for the classic. No knockback, that's unfortunate. Let's use Hairy Eye and Rabbit Kong's version as well. Stink Eye. Rabbit Peach already used her healing, so nothing else we can do. And that's a lot of damn. Oh no. And he's hitting twice. Right then. First order of business. I just want to grab Rabbit Kong real quick. There's only these guys left. So I want to get into a situation where it's to my advantage to get my allies up in a place they physically can't reach us. Drag you over a little bit. And I'll do that soon. I have a reason for doing that, and I want to get Pete, try Peach over here. Oh wait, does she have a weakness debuff? Uh, oh yeah, they have weaken. Just in case. And go. 13 damage, but it's fine. Right, now at DK, I want to grab Rabid Kong. And just get him up here. Doesn't matter where, here will be good. This gets him out of the way, and I'm not prioritizing damage here, I'm prioritizing living. Now with your final hit, you're out of range. But I don't, actually, this is just going to get the both out of range, isn't it? Maybe. Yeah, that's as close as that guy can go. And this will hit both of them, except one has 100% cover. And sleep. They use their pillars as beds. That's cool. Let's go ahead and you're just out of range. Hmm. All right, with DK, I want to move Rabbit Peach first. Unfortunately, I can't hit him without moving. So let's grab Rabbit Peach and get her out of range. This is good. Now you might have noticed there's nothing they can physically do to hurt us anymore. And that was the plan. We are invincible. The main weakness of melee enemies being out of reach. Anyway, I'll finish you off with this and then just send to the sentry after them. There's a golden shot. And you could move, but why would I do that? Oh. All targets are out of sight. Yeah, I can- I'm pretty sure it's just that Rabid Kong's blocking the way down. I could have moved him, actually. And he has three health. Yet yeah, he's preventing us from going down. And I can't move either. Yeah, weaken us, because that's going to do a lot. I'm just going to... do this. Why even use an attack? Just use your movement. Also, this is the only time you get to see Rabbit Peach covered in sand. Say goodbye to her. They almost outstalled me. I forgot that there's a speed limit thing for perfect. It's just bananas, though. Wow. 
You know, when you said you wanted to show us something, you could have been a little more specific. Rabbit Kong, of all the... Uh, how'd he even get here? And he looks so strong. He must have been working out. It's a flashback. Hold on a second. Why wasn't Rabbit Kong affected by the Mega- Oh wait, he's already been hit affected by the Mega Bug. That would make sense. I'm sorry, did you just eat the banana peel and whole? I guess peel and all. Just how did you see that? Whoa, so the main body of the washing machine is right in the core of the hideout of Rabbit Kong. Oh, it's closer than I thought. And it's guarded by an army somewhere beyond that giant gate. That needs two keys to open. Wonderful! Doubtless, they are scattered far and wide, safeguarded by wicked brutes. Typical, we need to find those keys. Hurry. Looks like Beepo guessed it, and why did this box just become dis undestroyed? Why did the animation just now play? Was it because we're out of battle now? Anyway, let's move on. We now know our objective. I still don't know how they got to and from to... Where, where Peach was from them seeing that. Maybe they just saw the washing machine land. And the rest of the story stuff was just for our eyes. I thought that plant was one of the mushrooms because it's blue. Anyway, plenty of bananas to grab. Go ahead and grab as many as you can because they're used for upgrades. And you're going to need them. There's less of them, but that doesn't matter too much. Thanks, box. Right, well, plenty of puzzles to go through now. Let's start. Looks like there's a red switch here that should be safe. Yes. That's unrelated to all the puzzles. No, it's not. There's a blue switch we can hit now. But first off, let's grab this thing. The Tropical Le Collector. I'm pretty sure there's only one type of collector, and that lit up one of those raziers over there. My objective, my guess is four treasures we need to collect, each one activating a brazier. There's a pipe gold down there, I'll check that out in a sec. Anyway, that gives us access to another crate. And a warp pipe. I'm guessing that's not going to be as easy to get to, but what's down here first? Four bananas, yay! Is that it? Just, just four bananas? Thanks for the secret. It may not be what I wanted, but it helps. Probably. Tropical Smasher. Anyway, chest number two down. I There's just, there's, just, there's always a reason to collect stuff as whenever you can. There's a bridge there I'm, that might get repaired as the story goes on. I don't know. It looks like there's something over there. The rabbits left this per, per, plant, pontoon bridge unfinished. We'll have to find another way. Guess it wasn't broken, it was just never fully built. 
More stuff over here. That. Oh, it pushes that away so we can do stuff there. Got it. The yellow block there. We have to activate that first. Where is that? There it is. Before we go on, there are these two blocks here. I want to push you last. Well, I guess it doesn't matter that much. Anyway, I can go through here now. And with that, we can finally hit this yellow switch. Opening up that warp pipe there. I should have just gone down the jump pad. That would have been a lot faster. Hi, crab. Anyway, through here, what do we got? Another warp pipe. Don't know why they didn't just connect these. Anyway, pushing that, you can go... It makes it go down there. And we saw what we need to do already. But first, six more bananas and no big banana. So we hit the switch, pushes that, and now we can get it to the pink switch. At least they slide all of them. And down there by that puzzle piece is how we get to the other side of the bridge. Tropical Ziggy. One more to go. Hopefully it's upgrade points. Probably just gonna be some special statue. I found out why they hid this area down here. And it is a shipwreck cove in artwork. And that is everything collected. Except this thing with six bananas. Still no bonus. Oh, it might be a weapon actually. No, it's upgrade points. Good. Uh, it's a well, power rune. Only one, but there's definitely not nearly as many as there was in the base game. I know that for sure. Anyway, progress saved, and the music's changing as well. Uh, you okay there? The lesson here is to never lie out under a giant magnifying glass unless you already have a good base tan. Yeah, that... Mm. That burn should not be in that shape of a rabbit. I hope if there was a rabbit there and he got burned, I, he's fine and just a little crispy. And this is where I'm going to end this episode off today. From now on, we'll be doing probably one, at a one of these at a time, unless it's really short, like the first episode. So, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you later. Bye!